Hello everybody. Today we're going to work on the last plexiglass part, which is the windshield. So with the forward top skin uh, installed and riveted, and the, uh, the bar, the windscreen bar uh, installed, we can now start working on the, the windshield. So the windshield is uh, the part that was cut off with the big cut from the, uh, well, the single plexiglass bubble that you get in your van's uh, aircraft kit. And it, it, although you, you cut it in half so it should fit exactly, of course it doesn't fit exactly. So you have to make minor uh, adjustments to it. Um, first of all, the, the form itself, it, it tends to bulge out. Uh, to the outside and then you get a lot of tension there so we we solve that by heating the uh, the outside parts gently heating of course not uh, ruining the uh, the plexiglass um, to prevent as much tension as possible uh, in the um, in the, the windscreen itself and then there is the aft part which needs to be nice flush with the um, with the bar uh, and what we had is that th there were some, let's say, changes in there, and, and that depends a little bit on how how you cut it on the forward part. So you have to do very small adjustments, or else you will either have too much windscreen on the top or on the bottom side, and it, it's just a lot of measuring and uh, uh, yeah, trying. And um, also uh, the just with the canopy. We are not going to uh, screw the um, the windscreen to the bar, but we're using um, the Sikaflex again. So it's the, the the gluing method instead of the uh, bolting and screwing it uh, uh, there. Again, uh, the most important reason is that I, I I like it better. It's 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 nicer to see. So the end product is nicer, and also uh, if you start drilling into plexiglass, it it's most of the time it will very slowly crack in the end. And uh, with uh, just using glue, that won't be the, the, the situation. So that's why we choose for this uh, solution. To, to enable uh, small, let's say, uh, differences in, uh, in uh, um, heating up and uh, the, the way that plexiglass, uh, let's say, uh, expands and the bar, you have to, to keep some distance between there. And you have to fill it up with Sika Flex, and that's that's flexible, flexible. So uh, th that would work. So we have uh, small um, uh, spacers, which is just garden hose cut into pieces, to to uh, use a spacer uh, between the the bar and the, the windscreen. And now we are working on uh, the exact, let's say, uh, distance. So you have a real nice straight line if you look uh, past it. Uh, as you can see on the, on the top part we had a little bit over sticking. You, you could change it by not doing it on that part but uh, on the forward part. But I I wanted the, well the windscreen to be as big as possible. It's maybe a little strange to say but uh, at least I didn't want to cut off too much on the forward side. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, side note. Uh, I have a grinder uh, on air, uh, but I found out that everything that rotates, uh, which is air powered, sucks because it really, really takes a lot of air. So, like uh, a drill, and that's why I use, always use the electric drill, uh, or a grinder, uh, it just doesn't work. I mean, air pressure is great for jacking stuff up, or squeezing stuff, or hammering it with a, a rivet gun, but things that rotate you just lose too much uh, power in there there's too much it uses so much air that uh, you know it's constantly uh, using your compressor here you can see that we uh, we heated up and we um, we pressed the um, the windscreen to the to the bar to the canopy bar and we drill small holes into the forward top skin and have um, uh, homemade brackets. It's actually according to the plan, so that's not uh, we did something ourselves. It's just not in the a part of the the kit, so you have to build your own brackets. And this way, you can kind of uh, well not rivet 
the uh, windscreen to your skin, but you, you rivet brackets and this way the skin kind of uh, has a fixed position to go in there. Uh, so it's more like a, a stop, a location stop to know where to go. Okay, uh, we're going to tape both the, uh, the bar and the, um, the windscreen. Uh, you do it twice, so you have the fine, uh, the fine tape. Uh, this way, we can use the uh, the primer. The, the, as you know, the, if you've seen the canopy part, we have a very black primer for the Cicaflex, which is horrible stuff, and uh, you should really prevent of leaking it either on the bar or on the windscreen. Or the windscreen is even worse because it will really cut into the uh, plexiglass. So if it if it hits something else. Uh, you will have a really bad spot if you if you could get it out and uh, the black primer uh, it will definitely ruin your that that specific spot so it's it's, it's really etching into there same goes for the um, the bars you can see we use uh, painter's tape um, to really tape off all the other parts so that we won't uh, ruin the the powder coated bar Again, we're taping the um, uh, the spacers on there. Um, this way, we have a space between the windscreen and the uh, the bar. Um, you use tape double. So what you do is uh, you first uh, use the primer, and then when the primer is there, you tear off the first layer of tape and then there's still a second layer of tape because Cicaflex will stick to anything that holds primer but it won't stick to it just won't stick to stuff which isn't primed so it's kind of a two component thing and that's why you have to tear off the first the, the, the first layer of tape because you will definitely get Cicaflex on that and if you don't tear it off then the Cicaflex will stick to that it will stick to your tape and there's no way you will get your tape out so that's why you need two layers of tape. There's actually a good article uh, written on uh, how to uh, work with plexiglass and Cicaflex on on, uh, on kit planes. So that was a real good article. Also the, uh, the four top skin as you can see, we're working on that one too, taping everything off. Um, so that we can uh, yeah, use the Cicaflex without... Um, ruining the rest of the, the, the plane. Okay, uh, cleaning up, removing all the dust and other stuff. Uh, again, Cicaflex is really great stuff, but it's also horrible because uh, <laughs> it's, really, it's a really good glue. Okay, the first component or the first part is a kind of a, an alcohol type. It's uh, besides the degreaser that we use, this is an extra Cicaflex product that at least cleans it really up. I'm not sure if it's necessary. I think if you use a good degreaser, it'll probably not necessary, but it's not the most expensive part. So uh, yeah, just use that one. Here's the, the primer um, and it it really cuts into your, also your brushes, right? So if you, if you use it, um, your brushes will, well, you can only lose it once. It's, it's really eating into it. And um, it takes about 10 minutes, I think, to dry. So if you, if you use the primer, uh, then there is a 10 minute dry period. You can see we remove the first layer of the, uh, the tape. And um, this way, uh, the Cicaflex that we, or the, 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 the primer that we uh, accidentally spilled will be uh, away. With the... Um, with the primer drying, we can now start uh, working with the Cicaflex. So we make a very thick layer, as you can see, on top of the bar. Uh, not where the, uh, the spacers are, uh, but on the rest of the bar. Um, we were really discussing if should we, should we uh, f put the Cicaflex on the windscreen or on the bar, but we decided to do the bar because if you do it on the windscreen, it's probably harder to get it in there. The brackets, the small brackets that we uh, riveted to the top skin, uh, they result into the fact that it will now be in the correct location. So because you shouldn't 
shift the position anymore, right? You should you should line it up and then just drop the windscreen and it should just just sit there. I mean, you you could change it. I mean, uh, the, the Seekerflex will take probably more than an hour to dry, but uh, that will make it messy. So uh, try to get the location straight. You use some marking lines and then fix it in one gentle uh, position to the um, yeah to the bar. We uh, used some glue uh, clamps and some wood to uh, to really get a good fix at the side location. As I said earlier, we really tried to get out the uh, the tension in there, but uh, yeah, it's it's never completely out, so you need. Uh, some glue uh, glue clamps. Uh, be careful. It's plexiglass, right? So you need uh, we we need wood between there because else you would you can break it, and that would be horrible. Right. So now we can wait uh, on drying it. Uh, flex will dry in probably one day. It's dry after a few few hours, but uh, to really to really let it cure out for an, another day, and then it's really easy to remove uh, where it didn't hit the. The primer. So if it's if you spilled a little bit, if you did too much, that's not a problem. You can really easily remove the Seeker Flex where it didn't hit the primer. Okay, continuing building my pie in the sky.